What the heck was that Paris Olympic opening ceremony? This was absolutely revolting to watch. Drag queens appeared to parody Leonardo da Vinci's rendition of The Last Supper during the opening ceremonies in Paris. Jesus Christ and his apostles were represented by people in ridiculous flamboyant costumes and some half-naked performers. There was also an unfortunate X-rated wardrobe malfunction of a man's speedo briefs. The Olympics later clarified that the burlesque display was a, quote, interpretation of the Greek god Dionysus to make viewers, quote, aware of the absurdity of violence between human beings. I mean, the Olympic presentation was titled The Last Supper on a Stage on the Seine. Additionally, the morning after the event, the Olympic organizers circulated a statement admitting they, quote, took inspiration from Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting to create the setting. But by Sunday morning, the artistic director responsible for the ceremony was on French TV claiming that the Last Supper was not the inspiration. The Olympic Committee issued a half-hearted, sorry if anyone was offended, apology. Okay, fine. Let's assume for just a moment that this was not mocking Christianity, but rather a pagan feast that looked a lot like the Last Supper. It's still grotesque and absurd and perverse. Children watch the Olympics. The games are supposed to be family friendly. You can't blame people for boycotting after this because their kids might accidentally see something semi-pornographic. Here's the artistic director behind the opening. Ma volonté n'est pas d'être subversif, ni de me moquer, ni de choquer. En France, on a le droit de s'aimer comme on veut, avec qui on veut. Euh, en France, on a le droit de croire ou de ne pas croire. Euh, en France, on a le droit, euh, on a beaucoup de droits, voilà. Et euh, c'était l'idée de, de trans faire trans transparaître cette... Euh... Europe gonna Europe. France could have shown its rich history and cultural heritage, Instead, it just pandered to the LGBT community and tried to debase itself as much as possible. Really makes you miss the golden days of Olympics opening ceremonies. He has practiced this more than a thousand times. 37 years old. Some online commentators pointed out that ridicule of the Bible was all over this. There was some sort of nod to idolatry with the golden calf. They showed one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse from the book of Revelations. Okay, would they dare do this with any other religion? I think not. No one is ever going to remix Mohammed into postmodern artistic performance. They only think they can get away with it because it's Christianity. The backlash, as you can imagine, to this clown show was huge. European Parliament member Marion Maréchal tweeted, To all of the Christians of the world who are watching the hashtag Paris 2024 ceremony and felt insulted by this drag queen parody of The Last Supper, know that it is not France that is speaking, but a left-wing minority ready for any provocation. Jill Biden, on the other hand, who led the U.S. delegation to the Olympics, was quite congratulatory. It was spectacular. The rain did not dampen our spirits. And Casey, honestly, every step of the way, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, oh my God, how are we going to top this? How are we going to top this? The fact that radical inclusion was the theme shows how far Western countries will go to grovel before identity politics. And what happened to basic decency? Why do we have to be subjected to this grossness so that France can prove that it's woke enough for the world? So the most likely scenario here seems to be that the Olympic organizers drew upon a number of different sources, including the Last Supper for its imagery. Thomas Jolly and his team were trying to make a multicultural, mystical statement about the oneness of humanity. But in doing so, they insulted the original artwork and the people who find it sacred. They have so little regard for religion and the art associated with it that they just cherry-pick various imagery and co-opt it for their own social agenda. They were either too ignorant to predict the outrage, doubtful, or they knew it would upset people. And then they took a wrecking ball to sacred religious art, combined it with pagan lore and modern sexual degeneracy, and then pretended that we didn't see what we just saw. The gaslighting is the point. There's no question that the left is trying to push sexual degeneracy onto children. 
And the place where you will find this the most is TikTok. For more on that, watch this video next.